Well, mm -hmm. it's time now for the seven things you need to know to start your day. Mm -hmm. Number one, President Trump used an Oval Office address last night to frame the fight for the border wall as a crisis of the heart and soul. The president blamed Democrats for the partial government shutdown that's now in its 19th day. Number two, this morning, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer delivered the Democrats' rebuttal to the president's speech. Senator Schumer called the shutdown a manufactured crisis. Congresswoman Pelosi accused the administration of, quote, holding the American people hostage. And number three, President Trump's former campaign chairman accused this morning of sharing information with a Russian business associate. Prosecutors say the man Paul Manafort gave polling data to what is believed to people that had ties to Russian intelligence. The allegation against Manafort was inadvertently revealed in court papers filed by his attorneys. Number four, new this half hour, Sears has reached a last minute deal to remain open for now. Attorneys for Sears said they reached an agreement with hedge fund controlled by Eddie Lampert, who is the chairman and former CEO of Sears. The deal will keep 425 of the Sears stores open in, if certain conditions are met. And number five, and new this half hour, a San Francisco lawmaker wants to put an end to those ridiculously long receipts. A mm -hmm. bill introduced in the California Assembly would require retailers to offer digital receipts like an email or a text as the default option. If it passes, it would go into effect in 2022. Number six, Shopco could file for bankruptcy as early as next week. Bloomberg reports a pharmaceutical drug supplier says the retailer owes it $67 million. The Green Bay Gazette newspaper had a report out yesterday that said an attorney for San Francisco-based McKesson Corporation said in a hearing this week the retailer is expected to file for bankruptcy as early as January 15th. And number seven, temperatures this morning are back into the upper 20s to lower 30s, but it's still extremely windy today. We'll talk about if those winds are going to last until the remainder of the week and when we could see that snow once again.